My apologies. Uh, good afternoon, class. A very good afternoon to all parents and P6 students. I'm Mr. Daniel Lang, the school principal. Welcome to my lesson today on the past, the present, and the future of Haising Catholic School. For this lesson, I will walk you through the school's history and some of the key milestones since its founding 62 years ago. I will also share about the school's vision, mission, and values and some of the key school programs. Please bear with me. It will be fast as the time they have allocated to me is about 10 minutes. The school was founded in 1959 by Sister Teresa Tsang of the Franciscan Missionaries of Mary. So originally from Italy, the FMM first came to Singapore in 1953, more than 65 years ago. And the school was sited along Upper Serangoon Road and named Haising Girls High School offering girls in that area a Catholic secondary education. Now these were Singapore's pre-independence days where not all communities had the educational opportunities we now take for granted. Since the beginning, the school served the less fortunate and mainly served the rural Teochew Catholic farming community in the area. In 1981, in line with the government's policy to switch from Chinese to English, the school became an English medium school and continued its rich tradition since the start of inculcating values, forming minds and hearts. Since the beginning, the school has believed deeply in values inculcation and that every child has talents and strengths we can develop. This is the core of Catholic education and this belief continues in the school right up to today. And the school motto in Latin, et veritatem per caritatem, translates into to truth through charity. To truth through charity reminds us that we all have a purpose in life. And to seek this true purpose, we must seek to be better people that help to make others' lives better in order to make the world better. In 1990, High Singles High moved to Paseris, which heralded another significant change for the school. The school became co-educational and was renamed High Sing High School. Later, in 1999, we became High Sing Catholic School to emphasize its status as a Catholic mission school. This is our school vision, coined in 2019 in commemoration of its 60th anniversary, one in truth and charity, Haising Catholic School is a home where hearts belong, a school where students shine forth, and a community that leads, cares, and serves. The reference to one in truth and charity represents one Haising over 60 years in existence as a school. We are a caring school, a home that welcomes each and every student and provides opportunities to seek and explore to find their identities and significance, to find what they love to do, and to build their strengths to be better versions of themselves. We are a school that develops students to shine by surpassing their own boundaries, to learn skills and competencies to thrive in the future, and to develop purpose, resilience, and passion in life to shine forth, and to be the people that they are destined to be. Finally, we are a school, a community that does small things with great love, putting values of charity and graciousness into action in little ways and big ways, leaving each place better than we found it. We imbue students with compassion for others and have an impact on the community. And in this way, we become a community that leads, cares, and serves. Anchored on these values, school values, comprising three virtues and performance values, our devoted team of teachers are committed towards delivering their best for the students so that they seek to be their best self every day and become better versions of themselves. Our teachers are exemplary in their love for students, take ownership of their responsibilities and learning to constantly seek better and more effective ways to enhance student learning experiences. 
With a student-centric purpose and an excellence-driven approach, our students are developed as purposeful students, lifelong learners, and caring leaders. Hisians are inspired to surpass boundaries and learn skills and competencies to thrive in the future. We offer two distinctive programs, our ALP, Applied Learning Program, in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, featured in one of the breakout rooms later, and the Learning for Life program, LLP, in student leadership, represented by some of the student leaders today and some of the students you see on video. Now for the ALP, our students go through teacher design lessons that explore cutting edge ideas such as artificial intelligence and the foundations of applied science programming and mathematics. The ALP culminates in its second year where students are taught design thinking program, the design thinking approaches to understand real life problems in the community and experience working with high tech equipment to design, build and rebuild prototype solutions. So through the ALP students also develop values and life skills such as empathy, grit, collaboration, and entrepreneurial day. Our Learning for Life program, or LLP, in student leadership is guided by our school vision and the concept of servant leadership. We strongly believe that every Haitian can be a leader capable of attaining their own life pursuits, anchored on truth and charity, contributing actively to a community that leads, cares, and serves. Now the school adopts a developmental approach to develop self and team leadership in our students and all ICNs are given opportunities to participate in two leadership development programs in their school years with HICIN. These two programs are namely PEDAL, the Personal Advancement and Development in Leadership Program, and SAIL, Student Ambassadors in Leadership Program. They help students to develop the desired skills and competencies to become effective leaders for themselves and for others. The co-curriculum plays an integral role in the holistic education of students and has long been recognized as an important part of our education system. CCA forms a tremendously important com component. We offer a broad range of CCAs and I ask you to stay tuned to the segment later done by our HOD for CCA, Mr. Siel. The Personalized Digital Learning Program, or PDLP, is part of the National Digital Literacy Program. It aims to equip all secondary school students with a school prescribed personal learning device. Our SEC 1 to 3 students have just received their PLDs on 26th October this year. And we are all looking forward to an exciting 2022 ahead, knowing that there will be significant changes in how they learn through different forms of learning experiences that await them. With every student owning a personal learning device, we will empower students also to be self-directed learners who are intrinsically motivated. Through blended learning, where there will be a mix of home-based and in-school activities that tap on technology to enhance learning experiences, students will be able to use these PLDs meaningfully to learn, organize their work, document their learning, and competencies to achieve specific goals. They will also be able to learn beyond curriculum time at their own pace using PLDs to explore their own interests and passion. As part of today's program, we have specially prepared for you four of such lessons so that you can get to experience a little bit about what your child will go through if they choose to join Haising next year. Our students from across the three streams have continued to do well over the years. These progression figures are based on estimates in, from the last five cohorts for the normal stream. For the NA stream, one in 10 students who join us transfer to Express. Four in 10 choose to go on to the direct entry to Polytechnic program, DPP, or 
the Polytechnic Foundation Program, PFP, after Sec 4, and 5 in 10 choose Secondary 5. This, these are not eligibility figures, these are actual transfers. Eligibility figures are generally higher than those who actually choose to go on to these. For the NT stream, about one and a half out of every 10 transfer to NA stream, and the remaining eight and a half go on to ITE. This is based on the last five cohorts. For O-level students, these are the estimates based on the last five cohorts. Now, once again, these are not eligibility figures. These are based on actually where the students went to and their choices made based on their eligibility. So four and a half out of every 10 express students also choose JC. Many of them go to TMJC, Tamasic Junior College, uh, which are a little bit nearer but also those who uh, don't mind traveling a little bit further and can get in, uh, have also been admitted to schools like Victoria Junior College, uh, National Junior College, and even RIJC in recent years. For this, the remaining 5.5 .5 in 10, choose to go to Polytechnic. And I think it would not surprise anybody that Tamasic Polytechnic, which is fairly near, is very popular with our students. For the SEC 5 normal students, about 9 in 10 choose Polytechnic. Over the years, the school has prided itself on being one of the more reputable schools in Pasiris, with a caring and conducive environment where students look forward to come to school every day to discover their path to purpose. With the new PSLE grading system, these are the indicative score ranges for the three streams we are offering. However, please take note that these are indicative points and meeting these do not guarantee admission to the school as the current year's scores may vary depending on the demand pattern and cohort size. With this, we have come to the end of my lesson. Thank you for your attention and hope that you have gained some insights about the school from my sharing. Do stay on with us as we have exciting programs for you ahead allow us to share more insights on our key programs with you. Thank you. Hmm. I'm so inspired by what Mr. Ang shared. That I'm thinking of opting for history lesson as my sec three elective. Hmm. I found it interesting, but I think I'd rather stick with geography because my name's inside. That's it. Geography. George. <laughs> Just kidding. But I think I would rather stick with geography because Geography helps us understand basic systems that affect everyday life, and I find that quite meaningful. Catch up with you later. I signed up for Mr. Zhao's Chinese lesson. Last week, he said he's going to be mentioning pop song lyrics to the lesson. In a minute, you can choose to join a breakout room for English, Science, or ALP lesson. I'll choose to stay in the main room with me to watch our Chinese teacher, Mr. Zhao, live in action. Mm. Signing up for Mr. Shah's Science lesson. Why don't we share what we've learned later? Catch up with you again?